This, you might recognise, is a spoon. It's great for spooning sugar, slurping cereal and generally eating. But have you ever stopped to think, is this the best my spoon could be? Because there's a group of designers and scientists who think the current spoon, which came about in the 1760s, is just not good enough. So they're designing a new one. Artisans in Buckinghamshire are making a new utensil known as the Goot Spoon. It's designed to emulate the experience of eating with a finger. So the first step was we scanned a finger, did a 3D print, then we printed again in a much smoother abstract form, attached a handle. Now, clearly this spoon won't help you much when it comes to eating minestrone, but experiments have shown people are willing to pay more for their Goot Spoon and they believe food tastes better with it. Andreas Fabian is so passionate about spoons, he has a PhD in them. And it's just a fascinating object. It's the, probably the first thing we use when we are born, when we are fed, and also the last thing when we die. And it also goes across all the cultures. Everyone uses a spoon in any in different shapes or forms. Not everyone uses forks. Uh, not everyone uses chopsticks. So is a spoon your favourite piece of cutlery? By far my favourite piece of cutlery, yeah, definitely. It's part of a new and growing field called gastrophysics, which looks to combine chefs, design, neuroscience and experimental psychology to improve our experience of eating. And it's not just spoons they're looking to change. Charles Michel is a chef turned gastrophysics researcher at the University of Oxford. He showed me some of their other designs looking to revolutionise how we eat. Okay, so this uh, handball uh, was inspired by a scientific paper that shows that when we eat with the plate in our hands, uh, we end up feeling fuller, faster. And this is a silver beaker, silver cup, mm. uh, that is, it's chosen, uh, we've chosen silver because it has a high conductivity, so when you drink something fresh from it, Ooh, you get yeah. a very, very kind of shocking uh, experience of the temperature. It's and the moment of for. truth. Well... <laughs> It does. It feels like you've got a lot of food in your mouth and you've mm -hmm. only just put that little bit in. If this is how they want to change the spoon, one can only imagine what the future of the knife and fork might be. Katie Silver, BBC News.